Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking, I almost said December, January favorites. It's technically January fails in favorites, but I really only have, I think, two fails in here. The others are just favorites. Starting with, I actually just got this shirt last week and I love it. It's from Target. I don't know if you guys can get like a good look at the style. Super flattering, kind of like a corset up here. These have like holes in them um, that do show through to your skin, so just be aware of that. It's a cropped kind of blouse, but I really, really love it. It's been a while since I've loved something this much from Target, so just had to share that because this is one of those things that I'm sure will sell out. Right, on to the beauty. First up, we'll start off with a fail. Keep it interesting. So I spoke about this when I tried it in a first impression, and it really gave me a good first impression and it's the Milani Stay Put Liquid Brow Wax. It's just a clear brow wax. It really felt like it locked my brows in place. It was great to give that feathery brow look. At the end of the day, you guys actually noticed this. When I was doing a wear test for the mascara in the video. At the end of the day, my brows, which I didn't even notice because I was focusing on the mascara until I watched it back. My brows had these little tiny white, like almost looks like lint in my brows from this product. So it was like a little bit crusty looking and pretty noticeable at the end of the day. Enough for you guys to even see it. So as much as this gave me a really positive first impression, unfortunately the little white specks it left in my brows makes me not recommend this product. So I wanted to give you guys an update on this one specifically because I did like it in my first impression. Speaking of brow gels, another kind of update from my first impression of it where I wasn't sure about it, I have been loving this one. So this is the NYX, the brow glue. This is the tinted version. I was not a fan of the non-tinted version of this. And I think I figured out why I don't like the non-tinted version of this, but I do really like this one. And it's because the texture of this product is very thick. Like if you compare it to Elf Wow Brow or you compare it to NYX Thick It Stick It, more kind of fibery type formulas, this one feels like a glue. It doesn't feel like a gel. It doesn't feel like a fibery, volumizing brow mascara. This feels like a Elmer's glue type of formula. So with the clear one, because it's clear, I always went in with my brow pencil or brow pomade to give my brows the definition that they needed before going in with the brow gel. And it's like it clung on to the product and it made the product look goopy. It was just too much product in my brows. But this, on the other hand, if you use this alone, which is what I've been doing, no brow pencil underneath, I've really been enjoying this. I would say if you're comparing this to the NYX Thick It Stick It, this is a lot more natural looking, which is a good and a bad thing. So Thick It Stick It is still my favorite because I feel like you can barely put any in your brows and you've got a ton of volume and it looks like you filled in your brows and they stay like that all day. Versus this one gives your brows just enough pigment to make them look done, but it's not nearly as much as the Thick It Stick It. It's more about the brow hold with a little bit of help in the volumizing and pigment department. Just enough to where you can wear this on your own. So I have been reaching for this, especially on days where I'm going to the gym, on days where I'm wearing really light makeup. Couple of updates here, definitely recommend this one over this one. I spoke about in one of my What's Through the Drugstore that I was testing the new Neutrogena Cleansing Balm and I really didn't like it. It left this like film all over my face. It didn't do a good job of removing my makeup. Inverse actually sent me this Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm with eucalyptus oil and vitamin E. And I started using this instead and so much better so much better. This smells very fresh. The product melts almost immediately in your hands and then it's almost like an oil when you apply it to your skin. Again, if you're new to cleansing balms, you wanna apply like a dime size amount onto your dry skin. I've seen people say a cleansing balm doesn't work for them, but they're going in, they're wetting their face, and then they're using the cleansing balm. So this is just your reminder to make sure you're using cleansing balms and cleansing oils on a completely dry face with dry hands. That's how they work the best but this does such a good job of removing my makeup. Rinse is off completely. I don't feel a film on my face at all. I was kind of concerned about the eucalyptus oil. I have such sensitive skin and I didn't know if some sort of a scented oil would flare up my acne. I've been using this for over a week now and no issues there. I love the packaging, I love the formula. I can't speak highly enough about this. All right, next up we have a product that is my favorite find of the month. 
It is more on the expensive side, but when you compare it to the alternative, it's a very affordable option. I'll tell you what I mean. That was very cryptic. So as I've said 5,000 times, I absolutely despise getting my nails done. There's nothing relaxing about it to me. If I'm gonna go spend 45 minutes to an hour somewhere, I wanna be getting a massage, not getting my nails done. I hate the process, but I like having my nails done, number one. Number two, I was doing gel and SNS for a long time because it meant I could go longer between going and getting my nails done, but they destroyed my nails. Like after getting them done for almost eight months, just nonstop over and over, just like taking them off, putting new gel or SNS on, my nails were so thin and brittle that I was like, I am not going back to doing that unless I'm going on some sort of like a 10 year anniversary trip, which it's our 10 year this year. Um, or something where I want to have my nails done the whole time and I really care. Number three, this is very long-winded, but I am this excited about this product. Number three, I suck at painting my nails. Like it is not a gift that I have. I have very little patience when it comes to doing my nails. I don't wait for the coats to dry. I don't buff my nails perfectly. That is just a place where I struggle. And I saw this on Instagram, an account I'm sure you guys have heard of called Things I Bought and Liked. And she posted about this, it's called Kerr. I don't know if I'm saying that right but it's Illuminating Nail Color by London Town. I believe this is $20 on Amazon. So she had been posting about this for quite a while and I was like, I can't spend $20 on a freaking nail polish. I kept saying that to myself and then she kept showing the results and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. I ordered it and let me tell you, this is the most user-friendly nail polish I have ever used. It is like nail polish for dummies. They refer to it instead of as a nail polish, as a nail concealer, which is the perfect way to describe it. I have it, it has been on my nails now for almost a week and a half, more than a week and a half. So it's like definitely faded on me, but this is the color. And if you have imperfect nails or you're not a professional nail artist, when you paint your nails at home, especially with light colors that show a little bit of your nail underneath, which is what I personally like, you can see those brush marks. You can kind of see the like ridges and bumps of someone that's not a professional painting the nail and not professionally shaved down nail, so it's not perfectly even. This somehow masks that. It makes your nails look so much more like you got them done than you did a DIY at home. I can't speak highly enough about this. It is my new go-to. This will probably be the color you see my nails painted forever and ever. All right, next is a product that I kind of went back and forth on for a while, but I'm almost done with it, and I've drawn the conclusion that I will not repurchase it. And it's from Naturium, which is a brand I typically love, but it's their Skin Soothing Recovery Lotion. Unfortunately, this one just didn't do it for me. Compared to all the Naturium products that I have tried in the past, which has been many, I've loved almost everything that I've tried from them, including their body lotion, which is my holy grail body lotion, and their new Dew Glow SPF, which is amazing. But this, I tried using this as I was getting used to my retinol. It's supposed to be a skin soothing recovery lotion. So soothes, calms, and comforts irritated or sensitized skin. It has marshmallow root plus arnica, beta glucan, and aloe. So this is supposed to help restore your skin barrier and be a great lotion to use on very irritated skin, which mine was for quite a while. And I didn't find anything negative about this. There's, I didn't like break out in a rash or anything crazy. I just found that it didn't really do much for me. It comes out in this like blue color. It's a very, very thin lotion. And at the time, my skin felt really, really dry. And as soon as I put this on, it sort of felt like it immediately was absorbed into my skin and my skin felt dry again. Unfortunately for my skin type, this just didn't do the trick for me. Next up is a product that I did a sponsorship with on um, Instagram and TikTok like three months ago. So it's been a long time. By the way, I have zero obligation to talk about this on YouTube, but I feel like I did this sponsorship and I was talking about how much I was excited about this type of product and now all of a sudden I'm seeing a lot of brands release a similar product at a more expensive price point. So I wanna talk about it. It is the Gold Bond Age Renew Retinol Overnight Body and Face Lotion. So this claims that you can use it both on your body and your face. I have my own retinol for my face, so this is only a body lotion for me. I'll know retinol is the gold standard of skincare. Any dermatologist I've ever seen has said the only products that are proven to help with anti-aging 
or sunscreen and retinol. Outside of that, you know, maybe these other products are helping, maybe they're not. There's not comprehensive research. I tested this for quite a while before committing to the sponsorship and then I've been using it ever since. So the only time I don't use this is when I'm self-tanned, which I am right now because I feel like it eats away at the self-tan faster. It's supposed to be helping skin turnover. I know Gold Bond has a reputation and it's not a great one. It's not something you think of when you think of cool, trendy skincare. It's something you think of when you think of like feet. <laughs> at least that was my, that's what I thought of. Um, but once I tried this, I was like, this is so underrated. This is a hidden gem. And now I see a lot of other Target brands, trendy brands coming out with retinol body lotions at a significantly higher price point. So I did wanna share this because I believe it's seven or eight dollars and it's a great option if you're looking into those now that they're becoming more popular. All right, the next fail is another product update. I liked it when I first put it on and the day that I wore it, it didn't smudge on me badly, um, but I've been continuing to try it and it's the Essence Lash Like a Boss. So this is a new release from Essence. It does build volume very quickly. I was pretty impressed by it when I first applied it. But unfortunately, this has been giving me quite the raccoon eye um, and that is a deal breaker for me. It is a, typically a problem I have with Essence mascaras. I don't know what ingredient they have that other mascaras don't have, but the smudging on me is real with Essence mascaras and I just wanted to update you that this was no exception. All right, and then last but not least is my new everyday lip. It is the perfect everyday color and it's $5. It's the new Wet n Wild Rose Comforting Lip Oil. I love this shade called Taffy Daddy. Let me show you guys it swatched. It's like the perfect everyday nude. This is what I wear to the gym. This is what I keep in my purse. I'm constantly reapplying it because it feels like a chapstick. It smells like it smells like roses, so FYI if you're sensitive to smells, but I just love the formula, I love the price, and I love the color. I really recommend if you're looking for a new everyday lip product. All right, and that is everything. I feel like I was very rambly in this video, so apologies for that. Um, it's early in the morning and I just had my coffee, so I'm very high energy. I usually film later in the day. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys have been loving this month, what I need to be picking up next, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.